Hey guys, in this game I decided to showcase the new skin for season 20. If you haven't claimed it yet, check your message inbox to claim it. Kaja is probably the hero that many cores really don't want to face because all he needs to do is to ult and the target is almost guaranteed to die. In the early game, you should take advantage of his passive and try to harass the enemy as much as you can. Once you reach level 4, you should try to gank the other lanes right away, can play too passively with heroes such as Kaja. Their core is getting ultra fed, but Kaja can easily shut down even a very fed core. I can stay in my lane for too long, I have to try to make something happen. And seeing just Nana, it's okay that she gets some free farm in the bottom lane. Here, Nana is pushing the bottom lane, but like I said, we needed to win a team fight soon, so I decided to just let her keep pushing. Winning a team fight right now is going to outweigh the loss of a turret. We got a double kill and also the turret as well. Even though we lost the bottom turret, we definitely still got the better trade. Zax used his flicker just a little bit too late. They know that we are doing the turtle, so instead of showing myself, I decide to wait in the bush and see if I can catch one of their damage dealers off guard.
I used those stats in the bottom side of our jungle, so I thought there was a good chance he would come to the middle lane to keep pushing. You can see how I'm just waiting for him. Ling is moving towards the top lane as well, this should be a very easy kill on Layla. Well, Zaz is in low HP, Granny has full HP and just got a triple kill. I think you can easily guess what his next move will be. Bye, have a great time. Well, I guess some people don't really care about getting those Maniac and Savage. Kaija's ultimate has such a long cooldown, so getting flayed in time is really important, especially because of the fact that whenever you ult, it's almost a guaranteed kill. Whenever you see a Kaja running straight towards you, you better run fast. Does it matter if it's the tank? They are all dead meat in front of Kaja. Without their tank, there's nobody in their team who can initiate, so it's not a bad idea to kill him first. Maybe next time I should just pretend I'm about to ult, so the monkey uses the ult first and then I can ult the real one.
the time must be so confused of why he kept getting ulted. XT. And that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing.